Imagine if we wound back time to the Tampa. Imagine if one of our political leaders had decided to just on their own choose three different words. Imagine if they said, we can help. Imagine. Imagine if they'd said, come, come be safe. Imagine if they said, welcome to Australia. How different this would be. They had their chance and they didn't do it. They didn't choose to do it. They chose fear and they chose hatred. But we can. We can still do it. We can change it. And I know we all are. I'm seeing here, you know, I really believe Australians are decent people. I really think that they would understand, but they have been lied to. They have been given completely wrong story and we can change that together. We've just got to keep doing what we're doing and we can turn it around. We won't wait for them. We can do it. People need to hear the truth. Gillian Triggs, we've heard, told the truth. The Moss Report told the truth. At great personal expense, many detention centre workers have told the truth. NGOs are telling the truth. Unions are telling the truth. And ladies and gentlemen, comrades, colleagues, you are here today. You are here today to hear testimony to the truth. And how powerful is that? Because we know, we've heard from Graham and Robin and Sue, we've heard the truth. The hideous things that are happening on Nauru and Manus. Simple human needs are being ignored and ridiculed. Leaders amongst the detained are beaten and broken. People are punished brutally simply for seeking legal aid. And we know, as we've heard, one man's unconscionable death is yet to be accounted for. Unbelievably shameful. Rape, sickness, mental health, despair, all hidden and lied about. So we're here today to tell the truth. Unions will tell the truth. We will talk to our members. We will get them there. I'm determined we will not give up.